have just finished a whole day of work and filming and I still have work to do. So you're gonna join me on the evening study session. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So it's evening, it's literally like 8 p.m. I've been working, as I said, all day, and I now need to do an evening work sesh, and I have not done one of these in a long time on YouTube, in my life, all the time. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and kind of show you what I'm up to and hopefully get a lot of work done. So I am basically gonna start this evening session, I think, by making a little to-do list of what I need to do, and then we can just hammer down into it. I'm super tired, I'm on my fifth coffee. It's not good. Anything past two coffees a day is it's not good. But look tired, overlook it. The music's gonna go in whilst we write the to-do list and then we're gonna get pumped up. I say that now, I'll be asleep in an hour, watch. <laughs> to-do list is done in my little diary. There's stuff to do, but not as much as I thought, unless I've forgotten stuff. But the first thing I wanna do, look at my dissertation schedule. So I have until the 1st of March to finish my dissertation. I've got about 8,000 words, I think, seven to nine. I always forget what number on, which is why I wanna look at my disc schedule, see if I've blocked off the right amount of days in order to do the work, and also like block off when I'm actually at like work work, and then look at my disc and figure out what I've done so far and what I then need to do. So that's what I'm gonna do now, which is quite a nice job, unless I look at my disc and it's in tatters. I have not worked on this disc since August, stroke September. <laughs> okay, so I've had a little look through my disc and the schedule. And do you know what? It's not good, but it's not bad. So I thought I'd show you like how I set out my dissertation schedule and what it basically means. Okay, so this is the schedule that I've got going. It's literally just a monthly planner. Red is like the days that I'll be working and like, or can't work for whatever reason. And then there's some flexible time here where there's nothing, which basically means if I have to work, I can. And then I've basically broken up tasks by day. So for my eugenics chapter, which in my diss, the dis is a right state. Basically, the, the yellow is from my dissertation that I did for my undergrad, but I'm going to tweak it. But anyway, so the eugenics chapter, this is what I've got so far. And I basically then need to spend like three days researching it, do a few articles a day, come up with like my general overarching argument, put that into an essay plan, which in reality, that's an hour's job, but I just put that into a separate day to spread it out. And then I have three days here to like write up the chapter, which will be like 1,500 words, maybe 1,000 words. So it's not too bad again I can do it in a day but I've got three just in case I need to work anymore and that's kind of how it's looked up until the deadline which I want to submit in February not March so on the disc front things are actually looking okay and I just feel like when I did my undergrad it was a complete like last minute rush like it was COVID as well but it was like trying to fit it in trying to plan trying to figure out when to do what how much work really is there so like this time I really wanted to be methodical about it and like really really plan and just generally, yeah, I can't emphasize enough when you're doing a project of 15,000 words, how important it is to actually have a daily schedule and like plan around what I know I'm going to be doing. Cause I have such a habit of being like, oh yeah, I'll just like work every day, like, you know, straight, like 14 days and like life gets in the way and you don't want to, and then you get behind. So at least on this plan, I've knocked out like all the days I'm gonna be working on like exercise and stuff like that. So it actually looks quite doable. And I feel like talking about planning and preparation and just generally like being organized and putting the work in brings me on to the sponsor of today's video. So today's video is sponsored by First Rate Tutors and I want to talk to you about their GCSE course for English, Lit and Lang. Whether you're a parent homeschooling your child, whether you're a mature student retaking a GCSE, or whether you're taking your GCSEs for the first time and want something to help you prep or revise, the First Rate Tutors GCSE course is perfect to help you prep for English literature and language. What I really like about it is that it's a comprehensive course, it covers so many course materials, basically all the books that you need on the course, as well as materials for the spoken 
an assessment. Each text is broken down with lectures, so you can actually feel like you're getting a one-on-one -on -one with a tutor, as well as loads of resources. For the course, there is a one-time payment, so it's not a subscription, and then you have lifetime access to the materials, so you can dip in and dip out, go at your own pace, and really learn over a time period that is flexible to you. For more information, I will put First Rate Tutor's social media links in the description, as well as a link to the GCSE course. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> The next task on my list is a very important one, and it's to book a train ticket to go home. So, yeah, I've not been home in a very long time, it feels like. So I wanna book a ticket and see like when I can actually go back. I feel like I have a lot of little jobs like this as well. Just like, it will only take two minutes or five minutes, but they add up, and I've just gotta think logistically like when to go back, when to see everybody, when to pencil everything in. So much for this being a five minute job. This is a this is a great start. I even tried on a different browser. I think we're gonna have to come back to this one. So I'm gonna start on the whiteboard. So I thought I'd give the train ticket website another go and it worked. So another job off the to-do list done. Now I think I'm gonna have a little food break. Maybe watch a bit of Netflix. I'm watching, oh, emails. Oh, maybe we're not gonna have a break. I'm currently watching Selling Tampa. Oh my God, I, I love it. Literally, I love Selling Sunset. It's such good, I mean, it's reality TV, but it's really good. Just put it on the background or like when I'm working, just to have like half an hour, just like detox. Yeah, now food break. So I'm pleased to report I'm almost done. So I've got two more jobs to do and then I can go to bed. <laughs> so first one is to render footage. So basically upload all the footage onto my Final Cut, let it render, which really it just requires it to sit and do its thing. So I'm gonna let it do that overnight basically. And I also need to check on a video and basically just see like what I've edited, whether it's good to be edited, whether it needs anything else. YouTube stuff done, now time to get the iron. Oh yeah, last job of the day. And I've literally just got to iron one pair of trousers. Yes. Bedtime is so close. Oh, I'm so excited to take makeup off and get into bed. That's how you know it's been a long day when I'm literally you're just gagging to go to bed. <sighs> Almost. And here we are. I feel like I'm about to give an ironing tutorial. Being like, this is how to iron your kit, guys. <laughs> a wrap on today's workload. So I'm exhausted, it's like two in the morning. I wish it wasn't, but it is. So I am gonna head to bed. I hope you guys like this video, a bit different to some of the army content that I've been pushing out recently. But this is kind of like what days look like for me when I'm not doing that type of thing. I will see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.